Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and make sure you're being notified for everything, like when I do community posts, because sometimes I post there when I'm doing a live stream and also um, just other little things and pictures and stuff like that. I kind of use the community tab as like Instagram or something like that and make sure you guys you are following me on Instagram um so I have here baby Nigel and baby Nigel is the willow awake by Claire Teller he is the prototype number three and um which means he was completely poured painted rooted everything by Claire Teller now the one thing you guys know I what for me the channels that I follow I love changing videos I love change changing and chatting videos I don't know about you guys but that's my thing so I am so excited to get back to doing um, the change and chat videos because I'm telling you guys you guys have no idea how much I missed it um, missed my um, change changing table it, it drove me insane because I like to change them in my lap but I like to change them on the changing table as well I think I like changing them on the changing table even well my lap is the second thing and then the changing table I do not like changing them in the baby in the cribs but I will do it because with my real babies for the most part you just pick your baby up you, you Put your baby in your lap and you change their their diaper, their clothes, whatever. That was me. You know, I was never pressing proper with my babies as far as that goes. But, you know, some of you guys may have used changing tables a lot. And I never use them in, sorry, when I root, um, when, when I'm rooting this hair, sometimes it's on me. And if I pick up my babies it will cling to the babies and I can't get it and it's like one long string and you know I'm about blind as a bat so it's hard for me to see okay because I have I I supposed to wear glasses at all times I, I have a hard time seeing my vision is not that good so um, yeah anyway all right so, yeah, so, um, I really have enjoyed hanging out with you guys live, too, so we should do that again sometime this week. Um, it'll probably, because this week is very, a very busy, oh, this is going to drive me crazy. I shouldn't even did this video with, I didn't realize that he had, he got hair on him. I guess I'm always picking him up. Okay. See, that's the thing. I, I, I shouldn't go, as soon as I thought root from now on, I'm going to just go straight to the shower and change my clothes. Because some of my babies I, I will pick up, you know, at random. And I forget that I have hair on me. But yeah. So anyway, he does have the elbow armatures and he has a drinking wet, which you guys know. I mean, it's really no purpose of doing the drinking wet as much because I don't really use it but you know us collectors if it's out there we want it <laughs> all right so I can put all this stuff away eventually now I am gonna put him on this little outfit which if you were in the chat about you seen my little haul so I'm gonna put him on this one I think I'm gonna change his diaper as well um and then I am going to, when I finish doing this, I'm going to go get back to painting. I am painting a newborn size baby right now. And I'm really excited about that. Um, I keep saying um, um, um. That's because, and the, one of the reasons why I say um, just for the people that it bothers and annoys, is because I don't think of what I'm going to say before I start recording. I know I want to change the baby. I turn on my camera and voila. He doesn't have armatures in his legs, and I love it. Um, as you see, 
no matter how he wiggles his legs are still still look like legs and not noodles um sculpting matters <laughs> that's all i can say um so i really love that about him he's definitely the nice soft um he's a very light silicone baby like when i say light like fluffy light i don't know why but he's not he's not super heavy and i know he's solid all the way through but he's just it's whatever formula that claire uses on the kits gives them a really nice fluffy not overly like you would think he would be like super heavy but he's not so i really like that let me get his diaper change lord um but yeah someone wrote me about a baby i get this all the time like i put up my doll for sale and um lucy my reborn for 930 dollars shipped and people a few people wrote me and asked was she silicone or vinyl so guys if you're new to collecting just know that you're not gonna find silicone in that price range um the blank kits alone will run you almost three thousand dollars just blank um for a full body um for partial blank kits alone um can be around 800 to you know 1500 blank it just depends on the artist and how much they charge and how popular they are i guess i don't know um but full body no and paint it no paint it even with a partial you're going to start anywhere from about 1500 up to 3000 for a partial meaning that the head the arms the legs is silicone but the body part is cloth like a reborn baby with glass beads polyfill type stuff in it um that's going to be in the range of 1500 to 3000 um a full body like this where they're completely a full body all silicone is going to run you starting from about a decent one 35 mm, that's uh, towards the lower end anywhere from 35 to god it can go up to over 20,000 so um yeah so this you know you're not gonna pay um, you're not going to find a silicone baby for $900 or $1,000 even at that that point. Especially not, unless it's, if it look realistic, you can forget it. Um, it just doesn't happen. Um, there's going to be something wrong, a boo-boo, a flaw or something. Unless the artist is doing a giveaway. <laughs> and, you know, um, type thing. So, yeah. So, it, it you know just just giving you guys a heads up that's you know so when i get that question i'm a little thrown back but then i have to realize that not everybody just walk into the community knowing what the prices are what you know what is what and stuff like that because when i first came in i didn't know you know that there was a big difference in between the vinyl and the silicone and of course you know we always want the most expensive thing i think <laughs> seems like but I can tell you that both mediums are very enjoyable to have and both can be very realistic. Um, I really enjoy having both in my collection and I am going to start back showing um, a lot more of my Reborn collection because I feel like um, I only show mostly my silicone because I feel like that's what most people want to see but I realize that a lot of us still collect the reborns a lot too um the thing about the reborns like I mentioned in my live stream is that they will always be around because um they're more affordable they have more faces to choose from um but the silicone I won't lie it's a whole nother level of realism because you're you're hitting a feel of realism 
um, because of the medium is something about it that even just it looks fleshy when you when you look at it even from afar without even feeling it so and some people some of the high-end um, reborn artists have a way of making the reborns look fleshy too like it's so translucent that it looks like like it's silicone and that's in a good way back in the day when um silicone was a little bit more newer the painting was horrible and you couldn't get a silicone painted as nice as a reborn i mean they just the paint stood up off the the silicone it just looked it they looked horrible but now things have changed so a lot of people base their opinion off of older silicones or if you see for the first time a badly done silicone baby then it's kind of like i don't want that they they look horrible <laughs> you know type thing um but that's that's not the case let me see if i can find a pacifier in here i don't give him pacifiers that often uh, i don't like the way that nipple look see i i think this sometimes i wonder if this nipple it has a little bit of yellow tinge to it that means it's probably laid next to something latex because that's what latex does to your pacifiers and for everybody that still use the latex pacifiers on their silicone you know do you but I'm, I'm not feeling it honestly I just I don't think that it's a smart thing to do and especially I seen somebody using one the other day and I'm not trying to be funny or anything when I say this no shade intended but it was on a particular artist's work that always paint comes off. Um, I definitely wouldn't use it on that because when they get ready to go back for a repaint, it may be hard for that. You know, it may take even more work to get it, the paint to cure. Um, being that it's been exposed to the latex. So I just, you know, I just kind of stay away from it. It's just, it, you know. Don't like it, hurted it. I don't like that pacifier on him. <laughs> oh gosh, let me see where I'm at with time. Let me get off of here. But um, oh, I still got a little bit of time. Okay, but yeah. So, ooh, and you know these pacifiers actually they have like a powdery feel to them, so it's like. They already feel like they're powdered. Look at this little boy. Look at you. Look at you. Stay bank. I love when my babies be in this, this type of soft material like that. Because they're so cuddly. I'm not going to put them on no socks or anything. I'm going to be picking them up, holding them, and cuddling them as soon as this video goes off. So this camera goes off. So... I just wanted you guys to see him. That is Mr. Nigel. He is dressed with his little koala babies on his shirt. And this is, I think, a um, zero to one month size. And I'm so cute in it. I like this color on him, actually, too. So, anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.